What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Olivia. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post. This video is going to be about an update, updated version of my PCOS problems. I'm going to kind of make like a series of PCOS so I can talk about like everything about it so you guys feel like you're not really alone and that I'm going through the same thing as you and that we can do this together and get through this because I'm sure a lot of girls have this we just don't really talk about it so I just wanted to talk about it. I haven't had the best couple weeks lately with PCOS and I made a video about this before. I'll link it down below so you guys can watch it because I'm not gonna go through all the details that I did last time with PCOS. My other video I kind of just explained like what it was, what all the supplements mean that I've been taking for it so I'll link that down below so you guys can hear it but today I'm just gonna be kind of updating like what's going on since the last video that I made. Um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not educated on this at all. All I know, I probably know as much as you do from your doctor and Google and whatever. Uh, I don't really want any like kind of advice on dieting and stuff because it's really a trigger for my past eating disorders which I'll talk about in this video. I just kind of want to make this these kind of videos for like venting and to update you guys and to show you guys that you're not alone if you have the same thing that I do. So, let's get into the video. Uh, I'm gonna break up this video in three parts. I'm gonna do to share the supplements that I take, which are the same as the other video. I'm just going to be like telling you what I take still and how it's working for me. The second thing I'm going to be talking about is my periods. Yeah, I got my period back. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to be talking about like how that's been. And the third part of the video I'm going to be talking about is how PCOS is kind of bringing back my past eating disorders. First part supplements so the first thing that i take it's only two things guys like i'm not, i'm making it sound like i'm taking like 10 different things but i'm only taking two different things and if we want to talk about my skincare and my dermatologist i feel like that's for a different video because i'm taking uh two different topical things for that and then a pill for my face so i'll get into that in like a different video but for this specifically i'm taking metformin which is for people with diabetes basically and it also helps with PCOS or like regulating your periods and things which is obviously working because I finally got mine back which is awesome. And the second thing that I'm taking is TestoQuench which sucks up basically the excess testosterone in your body. I started taking TestoQuench first before my metformin and it worked for a little bit and then it kind of wore off so then I started taking metformin with the testo quench and both of those together are doing a great job. You can take hormonal birth control for PCOS but I refuse to because I took different ones before and they just did not settle well with my body. For now I'm just going to be taking these two things and just see what goes on. I don't know. I don't even know how long it's been since I've been taking these. Probably like two or three months. I think they only they take that amount of time to work anyway so finally kind of getting back on track it's kind of like a step-by-step -step process I feel like trial and error to see what works and whatever the second thing I'm gonna be talking about is my periods I finally got it back which is awesome but I feel like they're so much worse when you have PCOS because we have cysts, literally, like, that's what PCOS says, we have cysts in our ovaries. And I just feel like during that time and before, it just hurts so much more. When it finally does start, you just, I feel like the cramps are so much worse when you have PCOS. Obviously, like, I didn't have this forever, I don't think. I feel, like, I always felt off, but I, I feel like when I was a little bit younger I didn't have this problem and my cramps weren't as bad and my symptoms weren't as bad until I realized that I had PCOS. I 
feel way more fatigued than usual. The blow is nuts. Like, I look like I'm pregnant. I hate it. I go up like six pounds every time, but that's, I, I know like it's from cysts and stuff, but it's also from my eating during this time, which I'll get to when I talk about my binging. I just feel like it's so much more intensified when you have this. So the main part of the video that I wanted to talk about is how it's like triggering my binge eating disorder. And yeah, I made a video on how I recovered from it and I no longer have that disorder, which is true. But I still like relapse, I binge and I notice this happening when the, my time of the month is coming and I know it's from my period and PCOS like both like together like freaking I don't know like killing me because my hormones are just through the roof and it's so frustrating I don't want to say that I binge because I, I don't binge as bad as I did when I actually had the disorder I still like follow the tips that I gave in my other video which I'll link that down below too if you guys want to watch that but I overeat a ton, like an excess amount of food, which is just nuts. And I know that's normal when you have your period and everything to be hungrier, but like I eat a ton. Like I can eat a bunch. I don't like I don't even want an example to give, but it's just so bad. It's I, I wanna call it like a mini binge because it's the mindset that I get when I want to binge, but I don't go like full out binge like I used to. It just kind of triggers the mindset of when I used to binge. I'm like, put this down a little bit. I just feel like, okay, there we go. <laughs> I just get that, like, trigger of eat everything right now. Like, it's okay. If, if you eat a whole box of pizza, go ahead and eat all the ice cream you want to. That's kind of like what I'm talking about with the binge mindset. That it just comes back, like, this time of the month every time. And then when it's over, I feel normal again until the next month. And some months are worse than other months, but this month was just terrible and it just makes me depressed because it feels like I'm relapsing and I'm going back to my binging disorder and I'm gaining all this weight and it's just like a scary feeling every month because I just have like this fear of going back to how I used to be and I know that it's not me and it's just my hormones, but it's just still like super hard to deal with. For example, like this past time I was eating a bunch, I went up six pounds in like four days, which isn't as bad as it was when I had my eating disorder. I would go up like 10 to 15 pounds in like a day, so that's kind of cool, but it's still like the point is I gain weight super easily and fast with PCOS, and it's super hard to lose the weight. I work out much harder than everyone else. I don't want to be like cocky or anything, but it's true. Like I, I work out like double the amount of time and I, I, I work out super hard. I can, I don't lose weight. My weight will go up and down, but as soon as I gain that weight, it's just ridiculously hard to lose it. And just the binging and the working out is just terrible. And then obviously with the fatigue, I don't want to work out anyway. So then I binge and then I don't work out. And I just worked out the first time, like two days ago. Just the feeling that I got from doing it was difficult because I felt so swollen and my ankles were like hurting from doing jumping jacks. And it was just hard, like I just felt like how I was when I had my eating disorder. And I don't want to feel like that again. And I know it's the hormones, but it's just hard to think that you're going back to old habits and binging and everything and I just like kind of thought and I was like I can't do this I can't like it's hard to feel like this but then I got up and I finished the workout and I felt a lot better after I also try to sweat a lot because obviously it's water weight like the six pounds is mostly water weight I probably gained like two pounds of like realistic weight which is still like crazy to think because that's a lot of food to gain to eat and gain that like weight in like a week or two i'm just super hard on myself i know i am and i'm making these series for you guys because you if i'm struggling with this most likely you guys are too and i just want you guys to know that 
it's normal with PCOS and it's okay that people don't understand you. The amount of times that I try to explain myself to people, like I said in my other video, especially guys because I talk to them about fitness and stuff more than girls and I have more guy friends than girlfriends. Um, they obviously don't understand since they don't even have periods, but they're kind of like... It's all about self-control and it's all about eating healthy even when you want to eat bad. It's just... <clears throat> it's so hard because like, no, you don't understand. Like, I have hormones that want to eat. Like, I'm starving. Do you want me to starve myself and then I go back to anorexia, you know? So it's kind of like just this whole this thing of people and myself and just a constant battle. I hope that I can find a way to get over this and be a little more compassionate towards myself. I know it's PCOS and it's more of like a mental thing than a physical thing. Like everyone's like, yeah, you look great. Like don't stress so much. I just want to make this series because it's like the number one thing that I'm struggling with. And I kind of just want to make these videos to see how I get better throughout my journey with PCOS and tips for you guys too. Uh, if you guys like this series, give it a thumbs up and I will make more videos about PCOS. I just kind of wanted to make an update video and although like sometimes I struggle with my binging during this time, I know that it'll get better and I'm on my way back to my normal self again for the month because it's almost over and we'll see what happens. I know I get in my head about it but I'm just not the person to say like, it's okay, like you're fine, like give yourself a break. I don't know, I just have this like mindset of always being on track and always doing like the perfect things for my body and always working out and always eating healthy. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you like this series and give it a thumbs up even though I said that already and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.